traders, welcome to Privateer FX Asian Preview and the North American Wrap. Let's get right to the charts. It's a relatively quiet day in uh, in North America, per usual. <clears throat> Take a look at the Uri Un chart. So we talked about yesterday. That this time, we were still bearish Uri Yen because of the pattern that uh, the Hanging Man and then the big down day on Monday. And we got a little help with this. It went from 134, 135.50, got all the way down to 134.05 today in the New York session. Um, a lot of that move happened. Uh, we pop back over to the uh, hourly chart. A lot of that move happened when uh, Japan, the Bank of Japan announced uh, it reduced its bond buys across a bunch of tenors, and uh, dollar yen and euro yen, you know, all cross yen got hit. That was during the Asian. Here's the here's the hourly down bar right here. <clears throat> Went from 135.45, kind of based around here 134.70, and uh, and then New York took it lower. We closed here right around 134.45. We look at the back to the daily chart. This was that old horizontal. Remember that congestion zone that we talked about yesterday. This 134.50 was the top side of that. We are closing just right on it, pretty much, uh, at New York's, New York's close. We still like this lower. We think we, we think it can get down to this old daily low, this 134.90. It's also a FIBO. If we take a look here at the uh, shorter-term chart, 133.92 is the, one, is the uh, half FIB of this recent big up move from 131 up to 136.60. So we think we can get a little bit lower, one more push down, and, uh, you know, we, we took some profits today down on the low, around the 134.25 level. Uh, we do think we can get one more push down. So dollar-yen, euro-yen are still, you know, still a focus. Here's a dollar-yen. We drew this wedge and it's still respecting it. You can see in dollar yen today it got down pretty close to this bottom trend line and then had a little bit of a bounce. We're back up to 112.70. And uh, but I think it's something to pay attention to. The, 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 it's been a bit of pushing and pulling with if you take a look at what the US tenure, remember we've been, been talking about this as one of the most important charts around. Take a look at this daily bar monster move took out 250 handily closed on the highs of the day that's the u.s 10-year and you know this is now targeting there's these old highs up at 260 265 uh i'm certain we'll get up there in the next day or two the way that uh, yields are going so basically jgb yield, jgb yields shot higher button yields shot higher u.s government bonds shot shot higher all this is is uh, you know one of the themes we're we're thinking about in the in the first quarter where we get higher yields, a bit of risk off, things like Aussie and Kiwi can come under some pressure, especially after the huge run-ups they've had. Um, let's take a look at Kiwi. So Kiwi actually is under a little bit of pressure here early. We did have a reversal day lower after making new high for this whole run up from the 67 80 area we peaked today right here at 72 cents just below this old high 7206 and then closed right in the lows of the day and now it's down another 20 points or so um, i think it's succumbing to the uh, higher u.s interest rates that have been playing out the past couple days um, so you know this is probably a good sell in rallies aussie and aussie and kiwi both you know, had pretty big monster runs higher from the whole month of December. You can see the Aussie chart here on the daily. This, you know, four negative bars here in a row. I think there's room for this to uh, to retrace. You have to, if you're drawing your Fibonacci's, you want to take this low here. Let me get to my uh, get to my Fibo. If you take this low here in Aussie. 75 cents which is massive level up to this high that we saw a few days ago 
and we got a ton of room. You know, you got the 100 day here. You've got 77.33 as a third fib. So this is this isn't done anything yet. You know, I think if we take out uh, the New York low that we saw today, I think there's room for this. Definitely much more scope lower. Uh, the other news during Asia was the China, the way that they're um, going about their fixing. And when they announced this in September, that was when the dollar, so the Chinese yuan was strengthening. They were fed up with it. Take a look at the daily dollar China, dollar yuan chart. Um, take a look back here in September, early September, right after Labor Day, had this big move down here. Look at this, look at this move from like 686 back at the end of June, all the way down, pretty much straight line down. When they changed their fixing uh, announcements, it put a low in in dollar China, and you can see what it did. It had a nice run up for the for basically the month of September. We're kind of expecting something similar. We had a you know, big outside reversal day bar the other day, and then the news came out yesterday during Asia, close up near the highs. So, you know, we, we like we like this going, retracing some of this uh, down move that we saw from the October bout, from the October highs. And here we are at 655, 658. You know, there's no reason we can't get back up into the 658, 660 area. Uh, Euro dollar real quick here. Another down day. Retracing some of this big up move that we saw late December, the last couple weeks of December. Again, we got our double top up here. We like this lower, below 119. We target this 118 figure 30 area. So keep an eye on the yields. The U.S. yields should lend some support to the dollar. I do think equities might come under some selling pressure if these yields continue to continue to uh, continue to rally. Uh, as far as data, we've got building approvals out of Australia, and uh, it's pretty light overnight. So Norway CPI. We do think all the inflation numbers globally are important. We will continue to follow those, and uh, nothing really out of um, nothing really in uh, Europe or the U.S. So good luck trading, and we will speak to you on the European Open. All the best.